Hi everybody, it's your boy Koi. We are back with some more JPDE Sonata of Fire. And with me is the lovely uh, little gremlin of chaos herself, Remolith the voice actress. Rema? Hello? Uh, hello? Oh, okay. I've been here, I'm trying not to burp. Oh. <sighs> okay. I'm doing okay. I'm relaxed. I'm here. I'm, I'm good. All We're right. doing it. Remolith, everybody, the little gremlin of chaos. That's that's your new yes. task. Okay. So before we do anything, I did have to do a little backtracking because if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it correctly. So do I have first... to redo all the lines that we already went over? Uh, nah, this the, the, it'll still be new dialogue because I I picked the incorrect routes. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so okay, first I'm gonna go back and um, okay, first we want to talk to Blake. All right. <clears throat> Hello, Grand Priest Goku, Daniel, Fire Sonic. All right. <clears throat> this reminds me of what happened last time after we discovered the matter with Tuxin. Oh, shoot. Hold on. I better make sure that my thumbnail, because knowing how this stupid thing works, the thumbnail is going to be from the last stream and it's going to confuse me. Yep, I thought so. Okay. Hey. Hey. Imagine doing that. Ma'am, this is a Wendy's. You want something funny? What's up? You know how I'm a bridge, Khalifa? Yeah. I walked into that fucking casting call, not that. ever watching a and single bit of Dragon Ball Z. I didn't even fucking know who the fuck she was. I just. I mean, hey, be, you do a pretty damn good job of it. I saw her, heard her voice, and I was like, all right, let's try it. And then I was like, okay, great. Well, hey, you do a pretty good job. Great job, even. So there. Do you still play as the Rose Slute? Who's the who's Rose? Or is it Rose? Rose. Rose Goku Black. Oh. All right. Anyways. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> this reminds me of what happened last time after we discovered the matter with Tuxin. What she needs is to be distracted, and I guess that the fact that I'm able to do it so easily is because it. Deep down, she does want to be distracted from the heavier stuff in her life, if only for a while. And Yang and the others couldn't do it because their instincts is to help her, not distract her. Their solution is more effective long term, but with that out without an outlet, Blake will crack. So Oh god. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. <laughs> the timing. I know. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. You really need to work on your greetings when you answer the phone. <laughs> so good for what happened. Okay. You good? Shut up. This is all your fault. How is this my... Mind if I walk while we talk? Nah, mind if I lay down? I promise not to fall asleep this time. Wait, no, that was your fault. Your teammates seem to think so as well. Hold on. Oh, God, they freak out on you like they did on me. Their guesses for how it happened were in order hypnosis, sleeping gas, and magic. Wait, what is this event referring to? Oh, um, because um, in an earlier event, I was able to get Blake to uh, relax instead of stressing out about the former gang she used to be a part of. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, maybe it was kind of, fuck, maybe it kind of was hypnosis, like the one they use in therapy. Hey, Serenity, hey, J-Boo, hey, Miyoko. Does Serenity want to 
practice the river voice acting? Um, well, you proposed the question. I'll let Well, her... I'm asking Serenity because I had to teach Serenity like a couple of things. All right. <clears throat> Wouldn't know. Never been to therapy. Hello there. Oh, oh, it's a sure get her in here, get her in here now. All right, all right. Hello there. Me neither, but it works by putting you in a relaxed state by making you focus on certain images. You kind of did that to oh, me. No, he's hot. <laughs> I keep getting spammed with hello there and oh no, he's hot. Oh no, he's Oh hell yeah. Oh, I have enough just for this one too. Toasty! Oh, for the love of uh. Oh god. Hi, Saren. Hi. Yeah, Hello? Rema's been trying to teach me how to voice Oh, well, that's nice. And I've been trying one session, but it was still enough. It was the introduction. Yeah, I'm, I'm still practicing. Okay. Serenity Sakumi, everybody, right alongside the little chaos gremlin, uh, Bremlin. Serenity, who would you like to choose the voice? I don't, I don't know. Anyone you think would be in my voice, right? I guess. Koi, you're the, you're the voice dude, so go ahead. <laughs> you're the voice dude. <laughs> you're, you're the one who knows their voices more accurately, so... All right, hold on a sec, because I actually just got a response from Zami. I'll see if maybe I can... Oh, is Zami joined too? Please? <laughs> Those two are, like, one day away from, like, furiously scissoring or something, I swear. What? It's going to be it's gonna be a menage a trois. Ew. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fucking family guy turned dude who's like, ew. Ew. <laughs> ew. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> we barely started, and this stream has already gone off the rails. Is that yeah. me, and, me and Rama in the same exactly. call? All right. Uh, <clears throat> Anyways, all right. So, um, all right. When other characters come in, we'll we'll, we'll figure out who to have the uh, Serenity voice. Um, for now, uh, okay, uh, for, okay, yeah, I, I read that. I guess remembering about the cat naps you used to take on the beach while you were sleep deprived kind of worked against you. Shut up. Cat naps this, cat naps that. I chuckled at her mumbled embarrassment. I feel kind of privileged being able to see, well, hear this side of her. You take naps in the sun curled up on a towel, and your bow makes you look like a kitty, so. That anyway? Oh, wait, no, she's not. I thought she was! <laughs> so did I until I actually watched it. Then I was like, oh. <laughs> She's not actually a cat girl? What the fuck is this shit? Well, uh, do, do you want me to know? She, oh, yeah. she actually does have cat ears under her bow. But my character does not know that. Oh, so she actually is a fucking cat. <laughs> yeah, but my character does not know that. So, like, it's just kind of ironic then when... You know, catnaps and yada yada. Okay, okay. <laughs> this, is, right. this is you. Uh, all right. You take naps in the sun, curled up on a towel, and your bow makes you look like a kitty. Makes you like a kitty, so... Don't call me a kitty. Or what? You'll hiss at me? Scratch you, maybe. That cat enough for you? Ow, kitty has claws. What it what type of stop it is this? Is it like that one of those like stop it? Like type of fucking bludgeon? Or she's just like actually angry now. Well no, I think it's more just like a comedic, like annoyed, like stop it. Okay. Stop it. She says but laughs. Alright. Ha ha. Alright, seems like the kitty jokes are a good way to tease her. I will have to remember that. <laughs> But Blake! Don't Blake me. How would you like if I started calling you Crater Face? 
I don't have any acne. <laughs> Crater? So is that an actual term for you? Well, acne? Apparently. Yes. When you oh have like God. bad acne to the point to where it looks like craters on the moon, they call you Crater Face. Oh my God. Hmm. It's also apparently a musical band. Anyway, um. But you did climb out of a crater. Can't you call me devilishly handsome or something like that? No, I can't. <laughs> you're not devilish, and you're not that good looking. Damn! I like Blink. <laughs> Big confidence building skills there. I didn't say you're not good looking. I said you're not that good looking. Hi, Bridge. Hey, Rius. Hmm. You're not so bad looking yourself. <clears throat> oh, I'm much more than just not so bad looking. And yet you're single. By choice. I need a break from those kind of matters. Last boyfriend wasn't exactly a clean breakup. Um, Damn. That sounds like hesitation in her voice. It's definitely not a pleasant subject. Sorry to hear that. Didn't want... Didn't want to make you think about something unpleasant. Well, to be honest, it's kind of refreshing to be able to at least mention it now. Maybe soon I'll be able to talk about it openly. Cool. Yes, cool. So where are you right now? In the gardens. You? My room. Um, I was thinking... What? Hey, yo, that's definitely not reading a book together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Do you want to come and maybe read a book together? Like, out loud? Gotta be a little quiet so no one else can hear you. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I can do. I can do the female voices, and you can do the male ones. This is basically what Koi's doing. <laughs> Or just split them even. I do a great falsetto. So, you're in? Give me five minutes. Oi, that means you gotta do a falsetto get, for me. Get, get, get in five minutes. Oh, it. that's so pretty! What? Damn! Oh! I'll read a book with you, baby. I'm, <laughs> 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 I'm not reading that out loud. Yes, you are. <laughs> but it's embarrassing! And I did not read embarrassing parts out loud? Uh. Damn her for choosing the one book with these kind of pairings. P please, Kojiro san, sheath your katana in my naughty meat holster. Ah! What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the no, hell? No, no, what no, the no, hell? No, no, no. Koi, 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 no, no, that was horrible. Go back one more time. Okay. From the top. Uh, I need to hear. I need to. Hey, you're supposed, you're supposed to do a falsetto, remember? God. I need, to, I need to know you mean it, Koi. God damn it. Wrong, Koi. Uh, <clears throat> please, Kojiro san, sheath your katana in my naughty meat holster. Ah! What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I can't believe you actually wanted to read it. <laughs> what do you mean you can't? <laughs> Jay Boo with the filth. Yeah, the, yeah. What do you mean you can't? You made me do it. <laughs> Did not. I only gave you the choice of disappointing me or reading that. Glad you chose the more entertaining alternative. Great. Now people keep redeeming the filth option on my points. Redeeming the what option? The, uh, this oh, is filth. filth. <laughs> uh, this is filth. filth. Oh my god, and there's another one. Ahem. Uh, I need mind bleach. This is filth. Keep filth. it for later. This is the only- This is only the beginning of the scene, after all. I am so getting back at you for this kitty cat. I love Kit Kats. After she stops staring at me with those big <laughs> yellow eyes. You're now close with Blake Belladonna. Hey. Bye. 
I didn't have enough girlfriends. Damn. Oh, hell yeah. Blake is so hot. She is. She's the first one I was introduced to, too. <laughs> okay. Anyways. So, yeah. That's the... Okay. And now uh, for the next one. Like I said, I had to do a little backtracking to do this correctly. <laughs> but to make sure none of you miss on the content, uh, I did make save spots for him. All right. Um, you think you could do a wife serenity? Uh, I haven't tried. <laughs> I wonder what the deal with Weiss was. She ran away so suddenly while we were talking. I wonder if... No, it couldn't have been anything I said. It looked like she realized something and was floored by it. Y you're a bird, abridged. You're a bird. I wonder what exactly it could be. You know what the word is? Bird is the word. I will a bird, bird, bird. I need oh, to hear, okay. I need to, I need to hear why his voice one more time. Give me one more. All right. Oh, yeah. I forget. Koi sent me like a bunch of fucking resources to hear the voices. So, yeah, listen to her voice. All right. Uh, okay, yeah. Rema, you can stream. You can voice Pira and uh, uh, Serenity can stream uh, uh, Weiss. Uh, do you need a reminder of what Pierre sounds like, Rema, or...? I'm listening to it right now. Okay. Okay, I guess I can. I can. Uh, okay. Again. No, no, yeah. it, it's not like... <clears throat> it's more like, again. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Again. I saw. <laughs> Weiss. Please. Wise, I don't mind sparring you, but you're clearly unfocused. Your form is all over the place, and your strikes have nothing <clears throat> behind them but a desperate need to lash out. So, what exactly are we doing here? Because this looks more like you're trying to distract yourself than real sparring. Give me a moment. All right. All right, I admit it, yes. I'm trying to distract myself by getting my butt kicked. And why is that? Because these stupid thoughts have spiraled out of the sequence of events that began with an ass kicking I got. So maybe they'll go away if I get my ass kicked hard enough again. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Ah. Ah. <clears throat> Low hanging fruit, Pira. Be the better woman. Weiss, I can assure you, whatever these thoughts of yours are, ignoring them will just cause them to fester. They can get worse? Uh-oh. Yes. If you're not up to confronting them right now, the solution is not bashing your head against a wall. I'd suggest you relax. Relax. A relaxing activity. Yes. Is there something you find relaxing but haven't done in a while? Actually, it's been a while since I've gone for a swim. Then I suggest you go for a swim. Swim? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Kara. <laughs> <laughs> Think nothing of it. Although, I'm curious. What is this all about? Disaster in the making. Stupid Sorry. You want to try that again? I was expecting her to say that, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Disaster in the making. Stupid blondes. You missed the moment, though, uh, Serenity, when, like, fucking that crazy sister character just kept saying hussy, and I couldn't stop laughing at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll be a perfect character for Sorority the Voice. Yeah. And Nanny Nanny? <laughs> Alright. Why didn't I take the fruit? Why? Oh no, she thinks that Weiss is interested what? in John now. 
Damn it, come on, Koi. Just because she isn't answering her scroll, it doesn't mean she's suddenly cross with you for reasons unknown. You could just try calling her again tomorrow. I'm a weak man. Oh, God I damn it! Serenity would be great for Ruby. Oh, okay. no. For higher range. Oh, God damn it! I'm guessing you want me to be Ruby. Sure, give it a shot. Oh, my God. I just heard her voice, too. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna suck. Hey, Koi. Fancy meeting you here. That's not bad. Okay. Or maybe not. So, you're not angry with me any at me anymore? <clears throat> nope. Had time to think about it. And I decree that this has been a learning experience for Weiss. As she talked with you the other day, she has been doing nothing but train. You better be prepared for payback, Team Ruby style. She has? Why? To not be shown up by your partner again? But that doesn't... Uh, Ruby, the conversation didn't end with her suddenly swearing revenge on Jack. We were talking about something and then she just ran off. She ran away from you? But why? I don't know! We were talking about how she doesn't want to show herself as immature. More than usual. More than usual. She seemed to realize something about the timing and then she ran. Now that I think about it, that's true. Weiss has been trying to control her temper in public sense. I swear to the gods if she runs too. Oh no. Did you just say grumble grumble out loud? <laughs> Trying to think of what Yang would do. Yang? Why Yang? Uh hey, Voice is currently out of the apartment. Why don't you step inside? I'll go call her for you. Oh, you would? Thanks, Ruby. My pleasure. Come on, step inside. Chop! Chop? <laughs> that too. Nothing to do but wait. And since Ruby offered to simply go call her, Weiss really was just busy then? But still. <laughs> Man, it feels kind of weird waiting alone with nothing to do in someone else's room. Um, you know what? Here, Aww. Roman, go ahead. <laughs> um, that way, uh, yeah, Serenity can keep with uh, Ruby and you can be wise. Okay. Oh, fuck. No, I forgot her voice. <laughs> right? <laughs> Am I getting graded for this? Graded? <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Do I get extra credit? Would you like me to pull up a, a a clip with? No, I got it. I already have a clip from our DMs. I could just send it to her. <laughs> Hold on, I got it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! If oh only they let you be pro. <laughs> If you let your day pro, I'd play this game in a heartbeat. There is an event with Crow, actually. Give it to me. <laughs> All right. Sorry, shit. Just started playing without my consent. Anyway. <laughs> I'm coming out, Ruby. Be honest. Wait, what? That voice is... It's too small, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, Weiss. Yeah! <laughs> I hate doing Ruby, that. why? Why? <laughs> Weiss, I'm sorry! <laughs> David, why are you here? Hey, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Read the script, Rema. <laughs> Not Ren, but why are you here? Oh. <laughs> I was worried and. 
Not that! Why are you inside? Where's Ruby? She went to call you? She what? She told me you were out of the room and to wait here. She, she... I'm going to kill her! I'm going to drown and saute her in milk and then roast her on a skewer! Oop, hold on. Let me uh, move my... Uh... <laughs> Damn. Why sounds like made with them threads? <laughs> Ouch! That imagery! Do... Do you want me to leave? You... <laughs> no, I mean, it's not your fault. Just give me a few seconds. <laughs> I bet you were worried because of how I left. I figured maybe I had said something to offend you. <laughs> What does dolt mean? Uh, like that's... stupid. Dolt, you didn't. Or you didn't. Fuck, I don't know. I'm glad. Then why did you run? Oh, you stupid white haired. Just tell him. <laughs> I thought she was talking about court. <laughs> I was gonna be like, he's not, not white haired. Wow. Were you in behind the bathroom forever? Do you. Do you remember what we were talking about? Just as just that. About you not wanting to appear immature? More than usual. That's Rui talking, is it? Damn her. <laughs> Point is, I realized that the timing coincided with... Well, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Point is, the reason why I don't want to act like Ruby is that I don't want to look bad in front of someone. Oh. Oh! So that's what... Oh, wow. I mean, lucky guy. Or girl. Lucky? You know me. I call it a curse. Nonsense. You're smart, pretty, and even rich. My personality is crap. It can be. <laughs> that's why you're trying to smooth out the rougher edges, no? To make this person more aware of everything else you have? And that's plenty, believe me. That's a valid point, I guess. I know, so don't put yourself down too much. You're an amazing person, Weiss, but no one's perfect. So, do I know this person? Oh my god, Oblivious. Do you see the compact on my desk? Hmm? Yeah, I see it. Open it. Does she have a picture or something viewer? in it? Does she have a picture in it or something? I grabbed the small object, but there's nothing out of the ordinary. Looks like a normal compact with the normal contents. And what now, Weiss? Eat it. <laughs> Weiss, is this it? I bring my eyes back to the compact, confused. What am I supposed to look at here? Am I missing something? Maybe it's the wrong compact? All I can see in there here is the makeup and my reflection in the small mirror. Oh. <laughs> Why are men so oblivious? Yeah, I'm sorry! I, I don't know why. Does... Is this swimsuit too small? <laughs> no. Do you like to swim? A big girl's too skinny. I have expected this to turn into a race for some reason. Knowing our track record. No, today I just want to relax. Fucking mess up the timing. Even you, if... You want to try that? You want to go back and try No, it? no, we're good. Keep okay. going. It's already done. <laughs> hey, yo! Pretty. Swimming with Weiss. The reason for my stress had already disappeared, so I guess this is just spending time with you. Aww! <laughs> Fine by me. What are you thinking about? Nothing much, you? Oh, looks like I got raided. Uh, Phantom Raiders, uh, welcome and thank you. A what? Huh? If you're curious why Weiss has that scar on her face, watch the white trailer. It shows how she got it there. I watched it already. I watched all the, hmm. the introductions. You sent them to me. Yeah. 
And you watched Volume 1, didn't you? I watched Volume 1, I guess. Right. <clears throat> Nothing much. Well, maybe about what comes next, considering that I... Do you remember what I told you about how I deal with admitting the superiority of others? A temporary situation? Temporary situation. I see. I smile. That's just like her, isn't it? <laughs> but considering this is Evelyn we're talking about, I think she's in for a surprise. Who's Evelyn? You're now intimate with Weishni. Who's Evelyn? The rabbit girl with the hat. Oh, yeah, fuck, I keep forgetting. <laughs> You're now the intimate. rabbit girl with the hat. I thought that was Jack. Uh, no, Jack is the blonde one. <laughs> okay, you know what All it's like. Right. You're now intimate with Weishni. Do we get to see a censored picture? Uh, <laughs> that may come later. Why? Oh, wait, how how much later? I don't know, but anyways, okay. Okay, what did you say, Pop? Okay, so anyways. Yes. Okay, so now we're, um, okay, now we're back here. Like, you you might kind of remember this, Rema, because I was like, oh, I'm sad, I missed the thing. Yeah. yeah did some backtracking. Okay. okay. Um, uh. Weiss Winter. Give Weiss back to Serenity and I'll play Winter. Actually, yeah. I was thinking you, I was. You want actually, Weiss, you want Winter, uh, Serenity, you want Winter? Yeah, I think Serenity could, like, if she uses her more, like, Dami voice. Do you use the one that you go, oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead. An escort mission? But that's so... so... Beneath me? Okay, yeah, that'll work. I didn't mean that, but maybe? Normally you would be right, you boob. But the person I see... <laughs> Damn you, Rema! <laughs> Damn it, Rema! You got it, you got it. Normally you would be right, you boob. The person I was tasked with escorting is Atlas's greatest scientist, Enrico. You stop pixelating, you stupid. I'm getting upset. Aw. I'm gonna try this one last time, and if it pixelates in the middle of the sentence, I'm going to be okay. Normally you would be right, you boob. But the person I was tasked with escorting is Atlas's greatest scientist, Enrico Pondina. His protection cannot be entrusted to simple grunts. <laughs> I guess we were it for no reason. Something the matter, children? We were just worried that Weiss is going to bring the house down on us. So Winter is your older sister, Weiss. You know, Wint, of course you do. Paladina, he must be Penny's father or something. <coughs> yes, this is my sister. Winter Schnee, an Atlas Specialist sis sorry, Atlas Specialist. Sister, these are Jacqueline V. Ivory, team leader of JPDE. Jipida. Ivory? Oh. Been there, done that. It's a pleasure to be properly introduced, Winter. I see. A pleasure. And he's David DeCavigas. Jack <laughs> Really, Rema? You gotta take the piss out of me. And he's Meteor Toddler DeCavigas. <sighs> he's... he's... Oh. Oh, no. Weiss, what's wrong? I I didn't even think about you two meeting so soon. I'm not prepared. I don't know how to before I even Weiss, what's the matter? You're hyperventilating. <gasps> You're just going to have to improvise, Weiss. Just going to have to improvise. Weiss, seriously, what's wrong? Winter, this is David. Yes, I've known since yesterday. Get to the point. He's... he's... 
He's your future in-law. He's what? I'm what? <laughs> <laughs> you what? Uh, no. To zoom too fast. That's the understatement of the century. <laughs> my... Oh my god. My future... He's your boyfriend? N not yet, but I plan to steal him. Steal? This is Phil. Phil. Th that, I mean, he already has a girlfriend, <laughs> but I... <laughs> I don't even know what sound to make for that. Blake, I require a collection of trashy literature! <laughs> What did you just say about my books? I think I need to have a talk with my sister. I should... Uh, fuck. Okay, let's... I think I need to have a talk with my sister. I should have had a long time ago. P please, p please do. No. You're one surprising young man. I don't know how to pronounce that shit. Decapagus. Or Thank you. Decabagus or Decabigus, whatever you prefer. Decabagus is Koi's Decab version. Decabagus is how they say it in game. Still, you want surprising young man Decabagus. Damn it. So, does Weiss know that Penny and Evelyn? Nope. She does seem like a traditionalist. So that happened! <laughs> <laughs> she just straight up. Weird. Oh, you're saying it's always the same one. There have never been other recorded specimens. So far, we've only just gotten sightings of it hanging around the places of the <laughs> incidents fair. after they happened. But your story confirms its direct involvement, and this opens up a kind of scenario that's enough unheard of in known history. Starting with how it can possibly move around remnant like that, and the reason why. I don't know who Jack's supposed to be. Oh, sorry, shit. Area. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was busy distracted. The bro. Crisis resolved. Really? Because it feels like we made the situation worse. <laughs> <laughs> we won't have an Atlas, Atlas SWAT team bursting in anytime soon. <laughs> Good to know. Though I should probably go back in a few minutes, just in case. Yeah. No time like the present, right? Huh? Indeed, but before I go, why is he turning in my direction? Yes, a cup should suffice. A cup of what? A cup of blood. A cup of blood? I asked father to conduct some analysis on your body, David. My name is! Discovering more about your body could help us in unraveling the mysteries around your origin. I, I understand, but a cup of blood? <laughs> I have a long list of tests in mind for it, my boy. Actually, I should probably take some samples from you two as well. Me and Evelyn? I'd like to keep my blood in its original container. Thank you very much. I won't be able to test for similarities or differences between them without it. Need I remind you that we've never seen a semblance able to share aura before. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, I hate needles. Uh, you be gentle. <laughs> I hate needles, but I don't mind. Oh, gods! I should have asked about the size of the cup first! Uh-oh. <laughs> We're gonna give Evelyn to Serenity. Actually, I'm... Well, I figured, like, um... Like, Serenity can keep Ruby and you do, Evelyn. That way you both have, like, different type pictures. Dude, doing the high pitch well, when I'm because... tired and my throat's clogged with Coca-Cola. I don't know, man. <laughs> well, Evelyn kind of sounds like she has, um, what is it called? Like a sinus type feel to her voice. Almost like a Sue, like Asui. Mm -hmm. At least that's what I'm hearing. All right. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, gods, I should have asked about the size of the cup first. Bra size or? The bra. <laughs> Nighttime. All right, let's see. Imagine, like, Koi Decali is wearing fucking a bra. What? It's a cup size. God damn it, Rema! <laughs> I mean... Oh? That hairstyle... Looks, that hairstyle looks familiar. <laughs> Is that... <Necro. laughs> oh, uh -oh. Stupid, stupid teenagers. Oh, no. Miss Winter? <clears throat> Who? The Gabagus? She seems to be drinking tea, but um, that bottle suggests otherwise. Wait, she's putting it in the tea? How many refills has she had? Of all the places to wander to. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Just, just come sit. I should talk to you anyway. <laughs> Music's so cranky. So, um, you said you needed to talk to me. And that's what I said. But I'm struggling to find the right words. So I guess I should just tell you what happened. And hopefully it'll shed some light on why you were drinking whiskey with your green tea. You may remember that I was to give Weiss a talk. <laughs> I do. Well, it did not go as I expected. How so? The bitch. You may have surmised that the focus of our discussion was going to be how trying to steal loved ones from their partners is unbecoming of human beings, let alone a schnee. <laughs> I guessed as much. <clears throat> but I had sadly underestimated my sister's competitiveness. And the fact that despite her lineage, she is still a bloody teen. So her answer was something like... <laughs> Relationships aren't something you can just break up for your own gain. So cease... Oh my god. Cease this ill-advised endeavor. It keeps... Okay, there we go. Oh, you should... oh okay. Never mind. No. Excuse me? I won't. I won't do as you say. <laughs> you won't? Have you listened to a word I've said? Consider their feelings. And what about my feelings? I'm in love with David. Uh, God but damn it, I Reva. I, that one felt... So... I can hear the smile in your voice on that one. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> keep, doing it. keep doing it. Keep doing it. I'll do it again, but I'm no, if you want to hurt him badly, just do it as Yang. There you go. Oh, <laughs> when I first started, I did Yang as an old lady. <laughs> here, okay, Koi. Here, I know you really want to hear it from Weiss because she's the only one to give you a good dick sucking. I'm in love with Koi. <laughs> And this is why you are affectionately referred to as the Gremlin of Chaos. Oh, hell yeah! This is why we friends. <laughs> Weiss, I really doubt that. It mo is most probably just a temporary fancy. A temp- Winter, how dare you? It's most certainly not. <laughs> Why is your experience with these kind of matters is non-existent? I doubt you can tell the difference. She really just said your love life non-existent. Oh, because you have so much experience to draw upon, Ice Queen. What? What did you just call me? The name everyone in your age group called you behind your back in Atlas. They joked and teased about how you would brush off anyone trying to get close to you, be it man or woman. They didn't... 
Don't change the subject. We're talking about you here. Weiss really said, you had a lot of riz and you didn't use it. <laughs> <laughs> you are talking about my love life without a leg to stand on. It's not a fancy or crush. I like Koi because he cares about me without caring about my name. And he shares my interest in dust. That's so out of context. That's so impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and Rema is so loving this. Life for me. And he's helped me without even having to ask. And, and so many other things. I will give up on my feelings <laughs> only if and when he rejects me. I certainly won't base on the counsel of someone who's never even liked anyone in their entire life. Oh. Ouch. What? What just happened? I have loved someone before. I didn't quite catch that. Never mind that last part. Point is, the situation is a mess, isn't it? I didn't think Weiss could get so fixated on something like this. Yeah. I didn't think Weiss felt so strongly about me. <laughs> he says with that dumbass grin on his face. <laughs> Considering she said she would only quit her endeavor when you rejected her, I could ask to do that sooner rather than later and put an end to all of this? Why would I do that? Excuse me. Uh, this is the worst feeling of deja vu. I appreciate your concern, Miss Winter, but you could have asked what I think about it, too. What is there to think about? It's a long story, but suffice to say, me and my girlfriends haven't decided how to handle the Weiss situation yet. I appreciate your concern, but I think it would be in everyone's best interest if... <clears throat> Girl... friends? As I said, complicated. Anyway, it's getting kind of late. Thanks for the talk, Miss Winter. Seems I have a few things to think about. Have a good night. This, this is shameless! Alright, I'm sure that won't escalate into anything. <laughs> now she's gonna be mad, not because it'll mess up the a relationship between him and a loved one, but because he has multiple... Great. All right. Do you want to try uh, Evelyn Serenity or? Uh... Oh God. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, okay. So from what I heard, she kind of has like a sinus type feel, almost like. Okay, you said hold on. Oh, nothing. I was just checking a message from Golden Bulls. I'm, uh, but yeah, like, do you want to try it or would you rather Emma do, just do it? Good morning, sleepyhead. All right, that'll work. Yeah. Hey, I woke up on time. You're just an early riser. Friday, day 75. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your aura knowledge increased by five. Ugh, mm. mm. uh, I still feel a little weak because of yesterday. I need to resupply on iron. Koi, how are you feeling? You're pale. It's all right, Pira. I'm just a bit anemic. I'll be as good as rain after lunch. Anemic? I had some blood drawn for some analysis. Let's just say they overdid it with the quantities. I see. But you shouldn't overdo physical activity if you had blood drawn. Does aura training count? But <laughs> Absolutely. Particularly the body strengthening kind and any semblances that affect the body. I see. Ugh. 
speaking of semblances... Pyrrha, can I ask you a question? Only if you can speak while walking. I think you have a meal waiting for you, and your team is beating you to the cafeteria. <laughs> What's this question of yours, then? It's about semblances. Have you ever heard of a semblance with conditions? Oh, you're already unlocking your semblance? That's wonderful. Thanks. Thing is, I know what it does, but not how or why. I don't know which conditions have to be met. I see. Well, first of all, how do you know there are conditions to be met? Uh, that's really private information, but I can't progress without at taking some risks. The only other person with some serious or expertise I know would be a teacher, and I can't trust the faculty. I can tell her at least part of it. Pira, promise me you'll keep this a secret. I'm a meteor toddler. <laughs> you don't have to tell me if that's that serious. I know. Thanks. God damn it, Rema. <laughs> a voice in your head. And your semblance can... Incredible. Oh, what the... Excuse me, I've got a phone call. Okay, while he's on the phone call, everyone call him gay. Make sure you say David. Yes. Make sure you tell David he's very gay. I say he's gay. Yeah, very gay. Call him a bottom. <laughs> he's a bottom. Oh, I'm drinking through, like... Everyone's bam gay, David. Uh, work should go smoothly tomorrow. I like my new work schedule. They switched me to a different department, and they fucking, um... Now I have actual, like, certain days I'm gonna and times I'm coming in, so I know when to expect myself to go in. And even then, I can listen to music while I'm doing it. So I'm just like, hell yeah! <laughs> I'm so glad that you told me about, like, this voice, head voice. Because, like, now whenever... Like, I'm told that a character has a deep voice or a light voice or... You like, go in your chest? Yeah. That's before good. I was using my throat to do it. Yeah, throat was like Patrick Star level. Like, you're just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, for me, my natural voice, I think, is like in between my teeth. And my nose, but it's also in the more forefront of my face. Because you all, you're even if like you do know the placement, your voice also has a certain placement too. Yeah. Like when I'm just full on doing nothing, it'll go down my chest. But when it's like okay, just I am normal speaking, it'll be in my teeth. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back, David. I mean, hi. Please. God damn it! <clears throat> it knows me better <laughs> than. Bro. It knows me better than I know myself, and yet speaks in riddles. I wish it would come. I wish it would come clean already. Yeah, I've been telling you you've been gay. So this is filth, filth. All right, let's take this one step at a time. The first step of your semblance. Wow, she's taking this in stride. I have to pee. I'll be right back. Sharing aura. I first unlocked it when under duress in a risky situation. So maybe I need to be in a situation of stress with a person and really want to save them. That sounds like some really specific situations to recreate. I know, right? Wish it could be simpler. Well, maybe it is. Excuse me? Have you ever tried sharing your aura with someone other than your teammates? No. No, I haven't. Try it with me now. Share with me your aura. She extends her right hand towards me and I stare at it. Then at her face. Could could it really be that simple? Not if she just steals it. Oh god, hold on. This the sensation. It's working. It is that simple. <laughs> so to share my aura with someone I just have to want to? 
Looks like it. How do you feel? I honestly would have never thought of that. And I feel, well, I feel you. Now that I really think about it, I can feel your presence and aura much more strongly than before. Does it also feel nice and soft? Yes, I have a similar feeling. This is probably a side effect, considering that you're probably treating my aura as if it was your own. And vice versa. Hmm, I wonder about the range. The range? You usually cannot feel or control your aura once it leaves your body, but in your case, it technically doesn't. Another thing to try later. Anyway, step two. Your inspirations, we could say? Yeah, it's not really copying because I can't do the same things Evelyn does, so inspiration works. If the voice in your head called your semblance power steps, I think it's safe to assume that each step is propedeutic. Propedeutic? Propedeutic. Whatever that word is. Yeah. Is it whatever that word is for the next? Pro. Pew what? <laughs> Even they don't know. How <laughs> so this is what Nora feels like. You know, okay, now I have to look this up because if she's going to use big words like that, I got to be a big word person. <laughs> okay, dudic. Okay. Oh, propedeutic. Uh, it has the word dick in it. I'm sorry. I mean, to get inspired by someone, you need to have you shared your aura with them first. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. But I've shared Are my they aura. really gonna say that Koi's power is the fucking power of friendship built on giving his power to other people? Okay, hold on. Listen. <laughs> Listen. I'm inspired by your intense. It's like a fucking fandom for fucking those, like, with the power of friendship. All right. All right. But I've shared my aura with all of my teammates, so why do I only have Evelyn's inspiration, so to speak? Because you're so gay. I guess it depends on how different your relationship with your other teammates is compared to the one you have with her. What differences are there? Uh, Go on. Why are you blushing? Nothing. No, that can't be it. I refuse to believe that. Let's keep it simple. For context, Evelyn's the only one I've um slept with. So right now the implication is that I can only copy their power if I've slept with them. Aww. Well, technically, could you also copy, uh, what's her name? Mabel? Maribel? Amber. Amber. Amber Tower. I'm not sure if dream sex counts. No, but, like, what if it does? M maybe it's something related to their own aura? Or maybe their semblances. What are they? Well, Jack can... Oh my god, it's <laughs> a bug! That's it! Sorry, it's not, it like froze. You thought of something? No, I haven't! I'm sorry? I don't know what their semblances do, except for Evelyn. Oh, I see. Shall we give it a try then? Sure, what's your, oh wait, that's kind of private, isn't it? It's like a hunter's best weapon. <laughs> You're sweet, but you don't have to worry. Knowing about my semblance's nature doesn't help fight its effects, so knowing about it won't give you any kind of advantage against me. Uh, I beg to differ, but yeah. That's the closest you've ever come to bragging. Um, I don't know what to say to that. Thanks? Anyway, my semblance is polarity. I can alter the polarity of any two objects. Two objects? Yes. I must always affect two objects at the same time, otherwise the one object wouldn't know what to react to. Say I wanted to make something fly away. To determine the direction, I have to polarize another object first, so basically a magnet. I have to polarize another object for the first to be repelled by. I understand. Polarization. Repulsion. POWER! Your eye. And not only that, the sensation. Is this what Pira? Thanks, hey, Pira. I'm back. Welcome back, Saren. Uh, thank you. I've got Pira powers. <laughs> cool. Pussy power. No. Rema, no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Rema, yes. No. Yes. Rema, yes. you're grounded. 
No, you can't crown me, you're not my dad. I can be your dad. <laughs> uh, no. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I could name off several things. No way, okay. Well, no, that one's just like uh, training kind of, so it's oh. not like the same thing every time. Alright, let's. Oh! 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 I don't know if I should. No, uh, I. You should go see her. All right. Um, go ahead, Rem. I think this one's... Hello, Koi. Ready to spin some tales of your youthful debauchery? Oh. I wouldn't call it debauchery. Well, what are you going to talk to me about? Or is it an event you want to recall? Mm. Wait, please tell me she's like a memory thing and you get to re-listen, re-watch it. <laughs> um... No, basically the thing with her is um you tell well, her about she's, she's writing a book, but please like I'm wondering is it like where they you can go back in the old cutscenes? Uh, not exactly, not exactly. Um I, I'm sure you'll still approve Rema when you actually do find out. I will definitely approve. All right. Maybe I could tell her about Neon. She seems a a, a, a selectic enough for a book character. Eclectic. There's this transfer student from Atlas I've met. Her name is Neon Cat. That's a cute name. What is she like? Well, first of all, she's a cat faunus. She's got red hair and a long tail. Hmm. She sounds like a cute. And that's pretty much it. She's a very fun person to be around, although she can be a bit of a handful. Um, Mrs. Ark? Is anything? I can see it. Excuse? A boy and a girl from different countries. An experienced stud and a fun-loving kitty. It's taking form. I can see it, Koi! What are you... Oh, I gotta go write this right now! Thanks, Koi! I don't really know what just happened, but... Should I be worried? Yes. Ba -da 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 -da. I can only imagine how many, like, endings there is. Oh, yeah, for sure. Alright, All right. yada yada, yada yada. Alright, now that I think about it, I never asked Penny about that. He's let her voice act wrong. Sense of Philly, a software that locks away Penny's human side. <laughs> Thinking back about it, that sounds terrifying. Penny is much as human as she is a robot. Her personality is a result of the meeting of the, these two worlds. So losing part of it, I don't think I ever want to see it. But still, I can't help but wonder. What does it feel like? Uh, okay. Me? Oh. Yeah. I don't remember what her voice sounds like. Okay. Why? 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 I mean, you don't have to, Serenity. I mean, you can just ask Rema to do it if you don't want to. But I do. Otherwise, I wouldn't be trying to figure out what her voice sounds like. All right. Would you like me to try to find it? <laughs> oh, too late. <laughs> uh. Let me see. Come on, you spouse. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, um. Okay. Eh. <clears throat> what exactly are you referring to, Koi? And why did you abscond with me to the balcony? Well, just in case it's a private matter, I didn't. Um, what I meant is that the balcony isn't exactly soundproof. Evelyn and Jack can still hear everything from the inside. P Penny! <laughs> well now. Oh, fine. I just wanted... I just wanted to ask what... I mean, when you activated Sense of Philly, did it hurt? <laughs> Oh. I mean, 
passing over the thought of seeing you without the human parts of your personality was be personality being a terrifying thought. With the way your father described it, I was wondering if it was actually harmful. It's really sweet of you to worry about me like so, Koi. Would have been sweeter if it was immediate. It was so sudden and you seemed none for the worse, so... Just so. While I have no way of predicting what going into the second phase of Senzafili would entail for me, phase one is... well, it's like sleeping. Sleeping? Yes. When I use Senzafili, I'm not exa- I'm not- uh, Okay. Yes, when I use Sense of Feeling, I am not actually aware of the passage of time between its activation and its release. And while my sensors never stop recording, the memories I make during that time don't really feel mine or genuine. Like a dream? <laughs> or a split personality. I know we spoke about aspects of my personality, but it's less like sides and pieces and more like tears. <laughs> my machine aspects usually stay in my subconscious, only subtly influencing my motor and speech patterns. And sometimes <laughs> a little less subtly than she'd like to believe, but I digress. <laughs> I see. Well, if it doesn't hurt, then I guess it's fine. I just forcefully alter the priorities in my personality tiers. But what do you mean with fine? There was a lot going on for sure, but Phila specifically came after me, so... There's nothing for you to feel guilty about, Koi. Yeah, tell that to my subconscious. Hmm. Does this work? Huh? Oh! Penny, what, are you, what are you about to do? What is... Get out of room! Whenever it goes pink like that, it usually implies that they are kissing me. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Here, read that one more time. Get a room! You're in it! <laughs> So I just made out with Penny. Neat. Don't, 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 don't. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What to do today? Okay, Pira, Nora, Velvet, Emerald. Or... Yang, Ruby... <laughs> I'm weird. Mm. All right. Let's see. Okay. Winter, Cinder, Coco. Pick something. <laughs> okay. I knew you were going to add. All right. I'm. All right, screw it. We'll go with we'll, we'll Yang. Yang it. We'll Yang it up. Yeah, we know why you want to Yang it up. You want to Yang her up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Golden Bulls. <gasps> That's all you. That's all you. I'll admit the outfit looks good, but you've been staring at yourself way too long. <clears throat> oh, if that's not wrong person. I thought that was Yang for some fucking reason. Try again. I'll admit that outfit looks good, but you've been staring at yourself way too long. What's on your mind? Like... Gang? I think I may be getting bullied. Oh no. Excuse me? And by who? David. <laughs> He's not gonna uh, push what? Oh, okay. Well... First of all, there's the matter with Ruby. He was involved in that. 
I don't think helping her with studying qualifies as bullying you. Also, I'm so getting an A thanks to these notes. Traitor. Anyway, there's more. I offered to help Professor Goodwitch with her paperwork. Oh, God dang. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. Thanks for the offer, Miss Shellong. But Mr. Dekavagus just so happens to swing by first. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> then I remembered how Ren asked me to help experiment with one of his new juices. Juices? What the fuck? Oh, I'm dreadfully sorry, Yang. I should have called you. That particular recipe needs some major rework, as Koi helped me rediscover. I'm kind of glad I wasn't the receiver then. No sweat, I guess. Mm -hmm. And guess what happened with Sun's Jungle Gym project? Seriously? I tell you, never seen such enthusiasm. I could have done without the untangling part, though. <laughs> You good over there, Serenity? <laughs> oh, Serenity says for Sun. <laughs> hey, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! It's not say anything of Coco's fashion. Oh no, he's hot! Alright, I get it. Koi has been stealing your thunder. Sort of. I mean, maybe calling it bullying is too far, but why is he doing this? What's with the smirk? Remember how you told me that last time he promised to make your life easier? Well, yeah, but... Wait a minute. You mean that he's doing this so that I don't have to do it? Are you kidding me? You do have a tendency to overdo things. Well, good thing your color scheme is black because you make quite for... Sorry, make for quite the pot right now. And again, the black killing the color. Uh, um. Alright. It's less about overdoing and more about taking on too much stuff at the same time. Oh, please. I've always done this. I'm fine. <laughs> I guess he's not convinced, or maybe he's just worried. Ugh, I knew I should have been open with him. And yet you did. Why? I don't know. I had promised and I felt like it. He's a good listener. I'm also a good listener. I know, but it's different with him. You got the whole sexy emotion Heidi Ninja thing down to par, which is totally cool, while he wears <laughs> his mood on his sleeve, you know? I guess he does. Have you seen him blush? Multiple times, by the way. Have I? He gets all shades of red depending on the committed offense. It's the cute- Stop it. Stop doing what? How does it make you feel coy? Yang likes you. <laughs> He's in like multiple steps of clarity. <laughs> you know what? He's got a girlfriend. My dear Yang, I just asked you a question. I didn't ask you to find him cute or something. That was you. S shut up! I didn't say I find him cute. Do you? You little. I'm going to juniors. Of course. Have fun. <laughs> Junior, I'm the one who she grabbed the balls of? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're so dead, Yang Xiaolong. Found a chink in your blonde armor. Five nights at juniors? <laughs> what the hell? So good. What? <laughs> Stupid homework and cat. Why did I get so flustered anyway? I'm not some silly schoolgirl or a first crush. All right, I may be a schoolgirl, and I may have never dated before, but I'm Yang Xiaolong, damn it! And I sure as hell ain't got a crush. Crushes are for Ruby. <laughs> Why are you so mean? Wow. <laughs> so what I find him cute? Doesn't mean anything. Yes, that is what <clears throat> I should have told her. <clears throat> you know what? That's exactly what I'll do when I go back. Now let's get to business. One bartending lesson come. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! <laughs> and this amount of cranberry juice. Okay, which, which one's Melanie? Which one's Matilda? I don't Matilda. know, but they both sound like valley girls, basically. 
Oh right, god. Melanie, go ahead. You'll do one. I'll do the, you'll do Melanie, and I'll do the other one. What was that? That sounded like a dog that had its tail stepped. Like, oh! <laughs> You're both of you. I am not asking for a manager to shut up. <laughs> this amount. Isn't there a measure or something? A spoon, but your spoons are different from the ones at the cafeteria. They taught me using those. Oh, and you stir it like this? Just like... How did you even know? Nani? <laughs> are you stalking me? Tapping my phone? Should I check for wires in my hair? Oh, Yang! Good... Don't you owe Yang me, mister. I don't need you to feel sorry for me, and even then, that doesn't give you the right to interfere with my life. That's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to... What? Make you feel useless? No, just unneeded! That's the same thing! Your word choice is horrible! Oh, hey, yo, I gotta do this with my best performance. Hold on. Mm, mm. Uh oh. Upstairs, now. Oh, damn it, my stupid mouth! <laughs> Thirty seconds, and I throw you over the balcony. Look, I'm sorry. That obviously came out wrong. Like, very, very wrong. Obviously. First of all, how do you even know about all my arrangements? <laughs> um, I asked someone. Ruby. Um, no. Yeah, sure. Second, and more importantly, what the hell? All right, I don't have the exclusive on helping out people, but at least ask people to cancel. Wait, you mean they didn't? No! But why? I don't know! Sorry, I didn't keep loading for me. Ugh, yeah. You didn't have enough time? Still, couldn't you have told <coughs> me beforehand or offered? <coughs> okay, hold on, let me turn those off. I could have, but asking you to let me do it in your place wouldn't have sufficed. You would have just said no. Okay, that's true, but still quite, why? Well, I didn't know about what you would like as a present, and I doubt you would have liked someone hanging around you like a vulture all day to do things in your place. Only thing I could think of was lessening your workload. I got that still. Listen, I understand what you wanted to do, but... <sighs> Alright, I'll level with you. I really wouldn't know what to do with all the spare time, moron. Excuse me? This is me we're talking about. Do you really think that if I wanted to take some more time for myself, I wouldn't? It's just that, well, I don't really have what you could call a hobby. I mean, I like dancing and parties and riding my motorcycle, but those aren't exactly things I can do whenever I feel like, no? I never really had time to experiment growing up. Now that I got more freedom, I guess I just fall into the old housekeeping habit. See something you need a fixing or helping? Yang to the rescue! So, instead of trying to free up your schedule... You should try and offer me something else to do, so I don't end up studying or training or helping people with chores. Hey, Yanks, wanna go get ice cream? Or something along those lines. Yanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I will keep that in mind. You're right, you're Yang Zhao Long. If you wanna do something, you just do it. You know it. <laughs> so just offer me options. I'm just gonna do you. What? Sim, Sim City with a me. Well, <laughs> so. Huh? I'm waiting. Waiting for what? Ugh, you just freed my evening. Offer me options. But you're in a club? I don't feel like dancing. Oh, um, well, maybe. Ugh, I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. No, Yang, wait! Oh wait, is there a Yang censor shit? Oh! Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> wait, I'm not ready for this. Okay. Ah, I'm so sorry! N no, I grabbed your arm all of a sudden. It's my... Show me the picture. Yup, there it is. In the titters. My... Fault. Tent. Koi's gonna stay on that screen forever. <laughs>
Yeah? I... I think you should... get up. Oh no, he's hot! <laughs> God damn it, Dominic! Oh no, he's hot! Oh no, he's hot! I... I agree. Bah. Also, who falls like that with their, like, hands up like that? That's not... <laughs> Toasty! Uh, all the way, please. I don't want to. Yes, <laughs> I'm sorry. And we know you don't want to, Koi. <laughs> so, um, that happened. <laughs> yep. Want to drink something? With a lot of ice. Oh wow! I didn't know I had this effect on people. That's a goddamn lie, and you know it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> We're gonna get died. So, not to shoot myself in the foot, but what exactly is the deal with your girlfriend, and I think Penny? It's a long story. We'll take a long drink then. <laughs> what? Don't look at me like that. It wasn't that bad. Alright, now I really need that drink. <laughs> wow. No, you don't. <laughs> My puns are not oblivion worthy. Hey! You're now intimate with Yang Xiao Long. Yes! Yay! Hey, uh... Sunday. Day 77. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gods! <laughs> Hi, oh. hangover. No, the hangover. What? kind of sadist makes people wake up at this hour mm. <laughs> night koi it's time to get up what don't you mean morning well it's 5 a.m it's technically not morning yet mm, i see Koi, please, we have to get to the blood landing, remember? Hello? Oh, you um. rem- Oh, who the fuck's Peach? Oh, fuck, okay. <laughs> Go back, no, I, no, 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 I remember, I remember. Okay. I remember. <laughs> Good morning, my cute rule-breaking students. Morning. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, Professor Peach. Well, glad to see at least one of you is a morning person. You have a couple more hours to sleep on the bullhead anyway. <laughs> Professor, why so early? Well, so we have more time to explore. Also, having breakfast at 6,000. 6,000 oh, having breakfast at 6,000 feet is stimulating. 6,000 feet? 6,561 to be precise. Let's go! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Where are you going? Where are you going, Koi? Peak, that's the name. I don't know exactly what it is, but it should have some answers. 
Yes. Yes, I think it will, from what I can feel. But they won't come easy, and they won't come soon. I still need them, Flame. You could always turn away. Excuse me? Take your friends and disappear. As long as they don't get their hands on you, they won't be able to go through with their plan, and you won't have to fight them. Wait for someone else to take care of them. I can't do that. Why? Because this is my problem. Ner. You didn't create it. You're completely innocent, Koi. But it still concerns me. And honestly, the closest thing to a protector I've seen is ruled by fear. I don't want to be like that. I don't want fear to dominate me and make my decisions for me. Oh, it's Jack. Oh, oh. Arner? I want to solve this. I want to destroy the source of my fear, whatever it may be, so that we can just live our lives instead of fighting our way through them. I understand. Just living, huh? I wonder what that feels like. Flame? Go on then, Koi. <laughs> Take your first steps towards the truth. <coughs> Koi, wake up! I'm sorry, but Flame looks like a bad boy and I'm here for it. <laughs> uh, Jack, what is it? Open your eyes, Mr. Decavagus. This is something you can only see at dawn. Uh, oh, wow. <coughs> oh, wow. Owen oh, Wilson? Is that our destination? <coughs> bum, 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 bum. Oh, sorry. The sealed city of Peak students. We've indeed arrived. Okay, now bear in mind, all of this is not canon to Ruby. This was just made up for purely the story, this, this story. God damn, they made a whole ass 3D model for this. Fans are passionate. This looks like some kind of research camp. What is this place? <clears throat> oh my, is this a first class repulsion field? <sighs> oh, very good, Penny. Indeed it is. <clears throat> this camp is not used that much anymore, but they decided to at least make it so that <clears throat> it wouldn't get worn down by the elements, or Grimm. Uh, and camp for what? To try and study Peak. Emphasis on try. Why would you need to study a city? To understand why it suddenly up and disappeared. Uh, that's, um... Okay. <laughs> well. Um, I can kind of see it. I'm oh, sorry. Symbolically speaking, <laughs> Mr. Decabagus, a city is not just its walls and buildings. A city is its inhabitants, and that's what's disappeared. <laughs> Excuse me? Did oh God! Oh God! With the oh God! With the ominous music. Okay, this turn into a horror game. Overnight, as far as we know. Oh God! Imperfect cells at it again. <laughs> as far as we know. <laughs> Problem is, no one could ever verify it. <laughs> Professor Peach, could you please start from the beginning? Gladly. Still haven't told you how this all ties with your lighter, either. Got a yep. lot of reading with her. Okay, great. <laughs> that music, Peak though. Marvel. One of the few large, long-lasting, successful settlements so far from one of the Four Kingdoms' mainlands. <laughs> Not only that, it became the world's leading pole of research into metal... Me me metallurgy? 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 <laughs> Metallurgy? I don't know. That, that sounds world. more... Correct. That's the working of metals, right? Working, fusing, shaping, extracting, Peak started as a mining town and is the first place in the world where pyroobsidian was discovered. Also the first place in the world where they learned to harness its properties. Among all known and produced materials on Remnant, it's still the best aura conductor ever discovered. 
Sadly, it's way too heavy to make weapons out of, but walls are an option. You mean the walls of the city are made out of pyrobsidian? At their core, almost indestructible, and able to conduct aura double the defense. Add batteries, and this place is the fortress as much as the science town. Which makes the sudden radio silence even weirder. <coughs> Around a decade ago, all communications from Peak ceased. Aerial surveys tells of no destruction of any kind, but all human activity is just gone. And so are the inhabitants. Just aerial surveys? I said as far as we know, remember? It's not called the Steeled City of Peak for nothing. No one can get in and nothing ever came out. Yo. Wow. Indestructible walls, and don't make me get started on the gate. It's a blacksmith's wet dream. Problem is it's locked and every security system the city had in place is operative. You can't open it, you can't dent it, and you can't disassemble it. No one has ever managed to get in, and in the end, they stop trying. Question. Do they remember they can fly? Because there is no time. I suspect that the city has a repulsor field of its own, but that only keeps out things without aura. Indeed. And he tries to just climb the wall or might with failure for another reason. And that was... Nothing life-threatening or with long-term consequences. Well, that ain't ominous at all. <laughs> Thing is, anyone who's ever tried to enter the city has been hit with dizziness and torpor and fell into a heap soon after. Alright, so why exactly are we here then? <laughs> to find a way inside, of course. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You brought us here to try and crack a mystery that people in higher number and with greater resources and experience than all of us failed to even ship at? More or less. <laughs> but considering this is also your only lead to the myster mysteries of your lighter, do you have a choice? <sighs> I guess we don't. Go figure. What do we do first that... <laughs> what about breakfast, partner? Please. <laughs> Good way to elevate, uh, alleviate some of that tension. Real. Ah, a bit cold, but it kept its flavor. And they even made a. F okay. Fuck me. And they even made it fresh. I hate myself. Stop pixelating! And you even made it fresh at that ungodly hour. Professor Power! Maybe next time, we could do something ourselves. Well, the Professor Peach allows it. <clears throat> oh, absolutely. I'm personally terrible at making anything appetizing, so I welcome the chance to try some homemade cooking. Wasn't this supposed to be our punishment? It's like we're planning a camping trip. <clears throat> Oh, believe me, Peek will punish you enough. Oh. Speaking of which, barring any other interruptions, I wanted to ask, where should we start? <sighs> oh. Hmm, well, examining the gate and the walls, I guess. <coughs> Min as minuscule as the possibility is, we may find something other than stuff overlooked, or maybe something changed with time. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Probably has to do with the lighter. Let's investigate. How do we do this? Don't you just dig underneath? According to my data, we just need to click over interesting points to reveal information about them. And we can change the area we're in by clicking on the side of the screen. Simple enough. <laughs> this gate is massive. And I can't begin to understand how many layers of protection there are on it. Hmm. Given the materials, thickness of the various layers and composition of the structure. As I thought, it doesn't bode well. What doesn't, Penny? It's its resistance. 
Similar gates are used in Atlas for their disaster level shelters, except with different material. Factoring those in as well, only a kinetic bombardment could bust the door open. A what bombardment? An orbital strike. <laughs> Come again? It means a really big object falling on it from space. Okay, no shoulder ramming this one. Got it. <laughs> hey, aren't these controls? Maybe they're maybe they're the controls of the gate. Uh, tell Kim I said hi right back, abridged. A gate that opens from outside. As I get closer and observe the area, Evelyn has pointed at it. I see a bunch of levers, weights, and knobs, each one waiting for a different input with a different setting, seemingly connected to the gate. I think you may be right, but if they are, how come no one has ever used them? Probably because you need to know the exact settings needed. This is most definitely a failsafe in case there was a malfunction of the gate that would leave someone stranded outside. Well, considering the amount of possible combinations. Ugh, it'd take years to try them all. Never take a century. Oh, and here I thought I made them through. Uh, Abyss, right now we're investigating a city where everyone who lived in it disappeared. Overnight. I think it was Cell. The walls are high <laughs> and sturdy looking, but they don't look as impressive as the front gate. If push comes to shove, I think we'd have an easier time breaking through the walls than the gate. <laughs> That's not really necessary though, is it? The walls are not that high that we can't clear them with a jump. The problem is staying up after entering the city. The dizziness curse or whatever it is Professor Peach spoke of. Yeah. I wonder if that's another of the city's security systems. Hmm. If it is, it's a system specifically crafted against humans, isn't it? Yeah. Also, if it covers the entire city, how do they keep it from infecting the inhabitants? Weird. What a thing is it doesn't. They go and they just find a bunch of fucking phones. Those are some weirdly shaped battlements. It's just a frame with openings big enough for an entire person to walk through. Are those made of pyro-obsidian as well? Yeah. Yes. Right, Merlin. I thought it was yes. Fucking... They're probably designed so that aura gets projected between the frame's bones. Ah. Oh. Aura. That makes me wonder, by the way. How would you even power all of this up? <laughs> It's someone's aura. But if the entire structure is connected, how much aura would you need to cover <laughs> everything and to keep it replenished during an assault as it's continuously chipped away at? The battlements may not be narrow enough to stop humans, but a grim certainly couldn't fit through. An impressive amount. The best theory I can come up with is that they had a group of aura users always on standby, but that sounds terribly inefficient. Why design and build a security system that you can't use? <laughs> All right, investigated that. Mm -hmm. And that is a forest. Um. Christ, this forest thick. You wouldn't be able to see anything in it for miles unless it was literally knocking trees out of the way. <laughs> it reminds me of our heart dumping encounter of Grim. Kind. It went pixelated again. <laughs> Reminds me of a heart thumping encounter of the grim kind in the Emerald Forest. Oh, sorry. <laughs> ah. Which one? Because I can count a few. Well, Harold isn't really a grim, so I don't think he counts. But there's still that time he ambushed you while we were fighting that group of Beowulfs. 
No, tree's not down that time, though. True. Anyway, I wonder how they handled surveillance in Peak. <laughs> well, think about it like this. They had enough defenses and space between all... Okay. Well, think about it... I'm fine. Well, think about it like this. They had enough defenses and space between wall and forest to be able to handle smaller parties easily. And larger ones would be seen even before entering the forest. We're pretty high up after all. Still, I wonder. Okay. All, <laughs> investigated. all investigated over here. Let us go investigate over here. <laughs> over here. Huh, what's that trans <laughs> translucent area? Do you see this? Yep, that's what happens when two force fields intersect. Huh. Both the camp and the city are protected by a separate repulsor field, right? I guess this is where the two things intersect, and that's why you can't see that- why you see that translucent effect near the ground. I see. Huh. Wait a minute. How are these things powered up? Usually with dust. Why? Because the force field encompasses the whole city, and it has been up for a decade. How is it still running? Huh, good point. I mean, this was a mining town, so they could theoretically have stocked up on enough dust for that to be feasible. <coughs> but how has the force projector been restocked over the years? The mystery... Mm. They're underground. They didn't leave, they're underground. And didn't bother to tell anyone? Nope. Check that fucking rock. That rock is really suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> This battlement, from here you can go inside the gate's building, can't you? Maybe opening it from the inside could be simpler than from the outside? <laughs> Maybe. I open it at all if we manage to get up over and inside. Not everyone who could be coming here is an aura user. They didn't make this easy to climb. I approach the wall, stretching a hand towards the materials. The wall is smooth, with no holes or footholds of any kind. Even the decorative lines are completely sm- Ugh. Oh! What? This... sensation? Partner, what's wrong? Aura. Aura? <laughs> there's... there's aura running through these walls. What? Are you pulling my leg? I can't- I can't feel anything. I swear, try touching the wall directly. Can't feel anything, partner. <laughs> Me either. I can, but so weak, like a whisper in the distance. A whisper? Okay, yes, it's weak, but I can feel it so clearly. As long as I keep Isn't my hand on the wall. His, like, he has a closer connection with anyone's aura, even if it's not his. Yeah, that is kind of true, isn't it? Oh, uh, why can you and Penny feel it and I can? Beats me, but I swear it's there. David, just remember your fucking <laughs> conversation with Pira. She told you the answer. I guess you're just more sensitive to her than we are, and maybe... Partner? It's just an idea, but... Well, we can talk about it after we're finished. Let's continue exploring. This is something <laughs> really big. Or it means there's something alive in the city. True. In the vault. Oh god, are the- did the people- are the people trapped inside the walls? It's gonna get really uh, <laughs> Something alive that's never tried contacting the outside. Alright. Window! There are more of these towers on the wall. I guess they contain anti-air armaments? The more I look at it, the more I can't help but think of this as a military base instead of a mining and research town. 
Couldn't be otherwise, considering its location. So far into the wilds, there's only two things that can protect you from Grim. Either a large amount of ore users... Or fortification. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Case. <laughs> Forti more fortifications out the wazoo. Honestly, would put them up even if I had con a continent contingent of hunters, to be fair. I mean, if you have the resources and possibility, why not? If you are starting a new settlement in the middle of Grim Country, not having external walls seems like a pretty big design flaw. <laughs> I agree. But the Kingdom of Vale probably doesn't. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, um, Dustbringer, thank you for the bits. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> The last attempt at expanding didn't prove successful for a number of reasons. Among those, the lack of fortifi F fortifications. That's what I said. Oh, you cut out. Sorry. I see. The way she said it, I don't think it's a happy tale. Speaking of Vale, though, I don't think I've seen any kind of fortification there. I guess they're hidden out of sight. The gray haired asshole's probably. There's two oh. things you should know about. <laughs> like a hurricane, he hears one. Consents are from a long way away. So there is only one or so we should be able to send off people if they are being used as batteries. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you for the bits. Uh, try not to spoil anything. Like, like. Because, yeah, I know, like, people are being, like, er. Yeah, try not to spoil anything, please. All right. <clears throat> The gray-haired asshole's priorities far from the eyes, far from the heart, after all. Hmm. Hey. <coughs> We've circled as much of the city walls as we could. I think it's a good moment. I think this <coughs> is a good moment to gather our thoughts. All right, guys, gather up. So the front door is sealed. Opening it the normal way from the outside could take us years. Well, I could use my semblance. Go back to the last time it was used. Thought of that, but considering it was around 10 years ago, you need more aura than you actually possess. Well, with my semblance, we could share our aura with her. Would that be enough? I think it would, but then the problem becomes the strain to put on Evelyn. <laughs> so let's keep that as a last resort, if we can't open it from the inside, alright? Huh. Let me show up every once in a... Wait, the inside? The inside. But what about the dead spell? Are we sure Penny won't feel it? <laughs> She's a robot, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. I like that. I tested a number of alternative nomenclatures as we walk. Well, I think I know what it is. What? How? <laughs> Thanks to your little discovery partner. Think about it. It can't be gas because the city is in the open. And it wouldn't be that precise anyway. Well, the effect is precisely restricted to the city limits. Considering that those same limits are also defined by the walls and that you felt aura, I think this is the semblance. Oh? You're kidding, right? I know the implications are ridiculous, but let's say we believe this theory for a second. If it's a semblance, how do we get past it? <laughs> if it's a semblance, and its range is extended by the pyro of city and the walls, <laughs> goodness, it affects our over directly, doesn't it? The effect is just putting people to sleep, but it's inescapable. I don't know whether to call it weak or strong. Quite. So? Well, the easiest way would be to take out the user, but we don't know where he is. Uh, <sighs> sorry. <clears throat> and if it's in the middle of the city, good luck getting there anyway. I think there's a way to know at least the approximate position, though. It's a long shot, but... And how would that work? By combining your semblance with Penny's brain. 
Nani? Yeah. Oh, meanwhile. So, um, uh, Thilla isn't the girl you see right now, Serenity. Thilla's gonna come in soon. Uh, but, I'll, yeah. you, you played. You... Go, go ahead I'm and read Thilla. I'm ready. Go, go ahead, Serenity. I don't know what this person sounds like. Um, oh, she doesn't have an actual voice, but uh, Sammy went in like Android Twenty One type voice, like high pitched bratty sister. I don't. Okay, I've never tried that though. I mean, just took, took you long enough, you cow. Yeah, yeah, that works. That works. Apologies, I need to grab your security box. <laughs> uh, I didn't hide it that well. Extremely well, actually. You must treasure what's inside of it. <laughs> I don't. I just... Ugh, you're annoying. I don't even remember what the fuck it is. I know. It's nice to see you both so lively. Oh! It's nice to see you both so lively. Do you think it was Howard? <laughs> you sure you don't need me to guide you there? I don't know if the directions were accurate enough. The ruins where Howard was squatted are a familiar point of reference. We'll find the source easily enough. I see. I guess it will be a short trip for once. Depends on how long it'll take to break my mind apart and piece it back together. Ugh. I feel like puking just at, just at the thought. I literally hit my eye. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Please don't. Howard just finished cleaning. Did not! But it definitely make this cohibition even more of a stink. Let's go, Bella. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> One day, Wester. <laughs> Patience. This is fine. Is Serenity uh, screaming and nodding to that dude? No, I just okay. fucking smacked my eye on my cup of water. Oh, are you okay? No, it hurts. <laughs> oh. But it's fine though. Talk about a shot in the dark. Are you sure this will work? I honestly have no idea, partner. The theory is sound though. If whoever is creating the fifth spell is using the pyro obsidian structure to spread their aura, they must be in contact with it. And if I can share my aura with it through the structure, I should be able to follow it to its location. Your summons allows us to share our aura not only with you, but also between ourselves. If we can also <laughs> partake of the sensing side effect. That makes sense, but I don't really sense the exact location. It's just a general feeling. I'll turn that feeling into numbers or a vector. Leave it to me. Well, as long as it's in range, I guess this could work. Yeah, yeah. Now show us. Show you what? <laughs> what do you think? You told us you tried your inspiration on Pyra. <coughs> so, what did you get? They totally mispronounced it. It's pronounced Pyra. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, oh, that. Actually, this could spare us the effort of climbing. On s One second, I'm still not used to doing it on command. <laughs> Partner, you really need to work on your focus face. Oh, shut up and let me concentrate! I, you a pool. I need to remember what I felt coming from Py Pyra. Bruh, you came to Pyra? Yeah! And white splooges. Hmm. I don't know which shade of green looks better on you. Oh, so my eye is green like Pira's now, right? I haven't done <laughs> this in front of a mirror yet, so I wouldn't know. <coughs> All right, let's do this, Penny. Easy there with the hand holding, you perv. <coughs> S sorry, it's just that my semblance and Pira's inspiration. I, I don't mind. I was just surprised. That's all. I see. Damn, Pira's confidence is overwhelming. All right, on to it then. Roger. Uh, up, up, and away! 
And now he's flying. Not very gracefully, but... Okay. Hey, oh my God. I call hat. <laughs> it's not as easy as I make it look! Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God. And Pyrrha can do this like breathing? David, this is fantastic. You're levitating the both of us effortlessly. My name is... Not really. <laughs> it's not that easy calibrating. You mean that you're not affected by my weight. Oh, that. Yeah, as long as I touch you, it's like we're the same body. Speaking of which, ready? Affirmative. Did I that mean you fucked yourself when you fucked? Uh. Me? God damn it! I give Penny a nod and slowly stretch my hand towards the pyrobsidian frame. I hope this counts as being out of bounds for the semblance, or Penny will have to catch me. I let out a sigh of relief. I can feel the aura pulsating through the metal, and I don't feel any kinds of ditziness. <laughs> so far, so good. On three, Penny. I'm that down. Okay, but why? Three. <laughs> if you say so. I close my eyes and focus, feeling my aura travel from my core up my side into my arm. Oh. What, what happened? No, seriously, what's going on? I, I can't, I can't see anything. No, there's nothing. I can see my own self, but there's nothing else to see here. I feel weightless, like I'm floating through warm water. Warm, warmer? Ugh! I twist my body. There's not even air. I don't feel like, I don't feel like I'm breathing. Nothing around me. My body keeps twisting in random directions at every twitch of my body. Yet no matter in which direction I turn, I still see nothing. But Penny? Evelyn? Jack! My voice echoes around me, flying away only to come back to me from every direction. What is this place? How did I end up here? Girls? Professor? Anyone? God damn it, what's... Calm down, Koi. If you freak out like this, you'll just keep on freaking out. You can feel your body, you can feel your aura, and you can move. And isn't there something getting warmer around you somewhere? Find the direction and head that way. It's a start from there. You are a brave <coughs> boy. What? But it's way too soon for you to be in front of me. <coughs> What is... Holy shit, it's the devil! That's what I was gonna say! <laughs> ah! The devil! The <laughs> devil! by now even in this new form not sure how i feel about the voice hot 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 too hot what is this what the hell's going on and so you reached the oh no he's hot oh god damn it just bring her they play the oh no he's hot yeah i knew it yep This. You. You know me? Toasty! Ha. Oh, God damn it! Is that the flame? No. Is true form? Nope, that's not sure? the flame. That is something else. Well, I know it's not the flame, but is that possibly, like, something connected to the flame that you have inside of you? Oh. You. You know me? How? That's. Seriously. Excuse me? You running an out of body experience, standing in complete darkness in front of a talking giant made of living flames, and the first thing on your mind is how I know who you are? 
I don't think this person's, like, first language is English. It kind of sounds like they're struggling, or is that just me? They're slowing down, pronouncing... Pronoun pronouncing? Pronouncing every part of the word. I mean, can I just... Probably. Um, can I... Here, here's what I'd do it. You're having an out-of-body experience, standing in complete darkness, in front of a talking giant made of living flames, and the first thing on your mind is how I know who you are? I'm having a... What? Well, they do have... They do have an act. So you just randomly inserted your aura right into the pure obsidian structure? Can't begin to guess why exactly you do that. But you were probably trying <laughs> to find a way around the debilitating field. Your... They do not turn it loud enough. Your... Say again? They did not make his volume in game loud enough. You're the source then. Indeed. But I'm much more aware. That's also the reason why I know so much about you. My kids have been reporting about you as often as possible. Your kids? What? Wait, wait a minute. You're... you're talking about Wesser and the others. <laughs> Took you long enough. Or is it that the kids never mentioned me? They... did, but until Philip mentioned you and Wesser in the same sentence, we thought Boss referred to Wesser. Mm, that gives you a confusion. That'd be because of Howard. He's Mistrali. And in the archaic language, there is two words that sadly only <laughs> translate to boss in the more commonplace version. He refers to weather by one and to me by the other in his mind, but the difference doesn't translate well in the legion. So just call me boss. Only because I don't know what else to call you. Fair. And is that anger I hear rising. If vocal Wesser... fry is not doing it for me, bro. Huh? The constant vocal fry is not doing it for me, bro. Fair. <laughs> you, you want me to do it then? Please. Fair. 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 And, and is, is that anger, anger I hear rising? rising? If Wesser, Howard, Bella, and Thilla answer to you, then you're the reason why they're after me! Sounds logical. Sounds logical. What do you want from me? <laughs> and Answer. Is, is that, that what, what you, you want? want? What do you think? <laughs> well, well, in light, light of this unforeseen but, but undoubtedly entertaining meeting, I'm feeling inclined to answer three of your questions before I send you back. Again, no disrespect to the voice actor who did this. I'm just... Not a threat. Not a bluff. Just a statement. Just three. Indeed. So Indeed. choose carefully, <laughs> So boy. choose carefully, boy. What do you... Oh, he's hot! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking chat. <laughs> Oh, no. What do you want from me? At first, I thought it was just the flame in my body. But that's not it, is it? Oh, no, he's hot. The What's the flame in your pussy? The flame. Oh, my God. Okay. <clears throat> the flame. How much do you know about it? Next to nothing. Howard wasn't exactly talkative, and the flame itself doesn't share much either. The flame speaks to you. Was that on a surprise in his voice? <laughs> it's just as Howard said. <laughs> There's definitely something of the Guardian in you. The Guardian? What Guardian? That's not what you're asking right now, boy. <laughs> to answer your original question, there's nothing I want from you at the moment. But I may, in the future. Depending on... Only on your actions. No one can get into the city. There's no human activity, and no one has heard anything from the population in years. What did you do? 
I just took advantage of an opportunity. The fools really took a liking to Pyro Obsidian and, well, that sealed their fate. You didn't just put them to sleep. I didn't. But don't worry, you're too far away from me to do the same to you, even if I wanted to. How? What exactly did you do? <laughs> that would be telling you too much. You can find out on your own if you reach the mines, though. But I'd advise you against eating before going in. It's not for the weak of stomach. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, what? Bastard. Okay. Afterwards, I put up the debilitating fill and sealed the city to avoid interference. But now I no longer need it, really. So I'll give you a hand and make Toasty! you feel okay. God damn it! I'm <laughs> now they're just spamming the toasty and the he's hot. Toasty! <laughs> oh my god. Weaker? You mean people will no longer fall dormant? Now, let's not get crazy, but I will make it so that it will only affect people with an active aura shield. A hand? More like a damn gauntlet. Now, what would life be without a challenge, boy? <laughs> How do you like my, uh, like my take on him, by the way? Um, the thing is, it's like, for me, it was specifically when he was doing it with just vocal fry. You add, like, more to it than just being like, oh, yeah, what's going on over here, boy? Uh, I like it a lot better. Hmm. Yeah, this one's better. What are you? You were right earlier. The first question I should have asked is, what the hell are you? <laughs> That's something you will discover on your own the further you get inside the city. Uh, I don't know how about the people were saying I should try to make him sound Russian. What do you guys think, though? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't the voice know. itself <laughs> is, like, is good. So, like, regardless, <laughs> both will work. But I'm imagining since his voice, he like has a deep voice since he's like some kind of entity. So I mean, <laughs> but, like accents would work regardless. I think I'll just I think stick some with some demons. Actually, doing like a breathier voice would fit as well. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's something you will discover on your own the further you get inside <laughs> this city. But I can give you a couple hints. Doesn't it sound weird to you that I refer to Wesser, a fully grown adult, as a kid? A bit? But I guess that's because humans are all kids to you, aren't they? Very good. Yes, to me, even your headmaster is a kid. Remnant itself is barely leaving its crib. Which implies that Ospin is older than he looks. Oh, you don't know the half of it. Also, if he says that Remnant itself is like a babe to him, that implies he's not of it. He's not of this world. Where exactly did this thing come from, then? Th three questions. I have so many more, and he didn't really answer any of them exhaustively. Well, then, that's all the time we have for today. You mean that's all the time you'll grant me? <laughs> I'm like a therapist. Oh, I, oh, I like you, boy. It'll be fun to meet you in person. <clears throat> and when will that be? Once again, Dekavagus, that depends on you. Oh, and one last thing. <clears throat> what? This will hurt. Money. That's a cool one. Ah! Ah! Oh, gods, no! Ah! My name is Koi! What's wrong with him? His state didn't change. He just started... He just suddenly started screaming. Partner, can you hear me? The pain. It's... Gone. Yes, I... I feel fine. And my name is Koi! You were screaming bloody murder just a few seconds 
seconds ago. What do you mean, fine? That was because of... I've met him. Met who, partner? You met the flame? No. The boss. <laughs> Wesser, Bella, I've met the one pulling the strings. <laughs> so this... This is the thing that Phila and Bella fear so much? Higher obsidian. A being <laughs> not of this world. With the connection to Pyre Obsidian, it's I was just told. <laughs> I was just told that dinner is ready, so I'm gonna go down for a little bit. All right, take care, Saren. If you are still here, I will come back. All right, later's. Bye bye. Bye. Mister D. Cabigas, if it wasn't against school rules, I would be kissing you right now. Bruh. School rules? What? Sorry, we've reached our yearly allowance of interactions with crazy groupies. Try next semester. A decade of silence and hitting walls and dead ends, and we reach a breakthrough in one day! A breakthrough that we can't prove, Professor. I'm sure the story would get us laughed out of town. We can't prove yet, do you mean? You've got our target set for us now. The mines. Which are on the other side of the city. And I have a feeling we're not going to get there alive without Aura. Penny, no! That's not what I was thinking of. But Jack's plan worked. I know how we can get inside the city. And eventually, the mines. Oh. Well, that's great! Oh. And it will have to wait until next weekend. We've had enough excitement for one day, students. It's time we go back. My sentiments exactly, Professor. Right. I'm still not 100% sure David is unharmed from his experience, and I believe we're going to need everyone's strength. You are a tactician. Time to go back. You are not using me as a red like ball Ha! <laughs> nice, Dust Bringer. Huh? Me? Who else? Come on, let's go. I'm. I'm the tactician! Oh, she's so cute. Right? So yeah, we met Satan, apparently. We did it. I, I can't. I really, really like that, but I can't. We can't. Phila. And I can't even tell you why. You're both very brave. I... I don't want to be. But you have to. For her, right? Yes. What was that about? Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Who is this? Summer Rose. Who's Summer Rose? Ruby and Yang's mom. Oh, her! I I'll let you read it then. Uh, what does she sound like? We, or do we, we not know what she sounds we, like? We have never heard her voice. Is she, like, the dumb kind, or is she just more, like, the, just, like, chill? Just, like, well, like, I so. mean, just think of, I guess, an older version of Ruby? Since it's Ruby's biological mom? I Just more like, is it kind of like how Yang's mom was just kind of, like, evil and conniving? Or is it, like, is she more of, like, the softer mom who's just kind of just, like, oh, Softer, you know softer. You know, I have two daughters back home. They're around your age. Oh god, it's brief for myself and myself. Okay. Really? Really? What what are they like? Every time I think of her every what every time I think of her every time we do this. AT, I'm back. Glad to have you back, Bella. Thanks. You got my clothes? These are ruined as always. Near the basin behind those rocks. 
Thanks. I'll never get used to the smell of sweat and blood. What did they do? I don't know. Bloody sweat, bro. I was thinking of her. You always do when we do this. Well, I was wondering, do you? When I'm fractured, I don't even remember her face. But when I'm healing towards the end, yeah. It helps you be brave. Yes, it does. Um, my box? I can't find it in the darkness. I put it on the floor near the wall on your... Ow! On your right. Yeah, I found it. Whose cape is that? Still looks good on you. Hmm, I mean, I could tell you. Is it Ruby's mom? Mm-hmm. I still say you should be the one to keep it. She gave it to you. You're more deserving of it. Even if I was, she gave it to you. I'm going to respect your wishes first and your self-loathing second. <laughs> <sighs> what would I do without you, T? Probably write poetry or obey the boss blindly. Speaking of which, I've decided what we're going to do next. You got an idea? Something like that. Something put we do nothing. Or sorry, simply put we do nothing. Oh, I see. Alright, I do have to go to bed now, though. Alright. Yeah, like we can go for about... Alrighty. Alrighty. Monday, day 78. Monday. Alrighty, well, thank you, Rama, for joining us as always. Um, the plot has thickened. We've uh, gone to the city of, uh, what's it called again? Uh, Peak. Right. And uh, we met the devil, apparently. Hell yeah. So yeah, uh, apparently Satan is in the game. Apparently, <laughs> okay, we don't know what he is, but yeah, he, li he likes fire. All right. Hell yeah, Satan. Let's see That's who can we heard. Come on. raid. All right, but anyways, uh, thank you all for joining. Uh, thanks to Rema and Serenity as well, and um, we'll continue the story next. The story shall continue next time. In the meantime, we're gonna do a bit of a, yeah, you know what? We'll go raid Lanny. All right. Until next time, guys. Y'all take care. Stay safe out there. Uh, peace out. Peace off. Thanks again, uh, Rema, uh, you little chaos goblin, you. Or, or... Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. Peace out. Peace off. Bye.